whenever we are talking about the behavior of a leader, then it becomes uh, very, very important uh, that is the we have to keep uh, some factors into mind. This particular session uh, talks about this, uh, these are the uh, certain uh, contents uh, uh, which uh, we will be talking about why study leadership behavior effective versus ineffective leaders behaviors and skills, three dimensional theories, leadership continuum. Ohio and Michigan leadership studies, a managerial grid, research paper and case studies and book recommendations as usual will be there. No institution can possibly survive if it needs genuineness or the superman to manage it. It must be organized in such a way as to be able to get along under a leadership composed of the average human beings, right. Peter Drucker, the management expert has talked about, right. So, uh, that is the if uh, any organization, if, if, if it wants to survive, uh, it needs the genesis or the superman to manage it. If he is able to manage the superman, then definitely it must be able to um, organize in such a way that is the along with uh, that leadership composed for the average employee which is working in the organization. If a leader is able to work with the average employees, then definitely he will be able to successful. And differentiating between the effective and effective leader requires looking at their behavior and results. So, leadership behavior can be observed and measured, this is also very, very important. And personality traits, values and intelligence cannot be directly observed, right, but they may contribute to effective leadership behaviors are there. So, what type of the personality traits are having uh, the, the leader? and his values and his intelligence is there. So, therefore, whenever we are talking about the leadership behavior, it is becoming the IQ plus EQ plus SQ is there. It is the intelligent quotient, then the emotional quotient and then the spiritual quotient is there. And two other factors that influence leadership behavior are the followers and the situations are follower and situations factor can help determine whether a particular leadership behavior is good or bad. So, therefore, in that case uh, whenever we are talking about uh, uh, these, these uh, factors are there, mm, uh, then uh, the uh, followers will end the situation. Naturally, uh, whenever we talk about the leadership, the leadership's effectiveness, who will be giving the certificate for that? It will the follower and situation and therefore, when follower and situations they help to a leadership behavior. So, that is in the coordination and there is a synergy. When the synergy is uh, developed between all these three, then definitely in that case the outcome will be the effective leadership is there. So, that behavior, that behavior of the leader will be justified by the followers and situation. So, many people in positions of authority either cannot build and motivate teams or do not realize the negative impact of their behavior is there. And that is why uh, this subject is becoming very, very important uh, because we will be talking about the many aspects of behavior. And in, in here I, I, it is um, uh, very uh, essential that is it has been proved that is the those who are not have been the successful in the organization to lead it is because of they could not motivate their team. So, leadership behaviors is a function of intelligence, personality traits, emotional intelligence, values, attitude which we have talked about all these dimensions. So, over time leader learns and discern the uh, and discern the most appropriate and effective behaviors is there. The individual differences the followers and the situation variables play a pivotal role in the leader's uh, action and therefore, in that case and it is not only the leader's personality traits. I would like to add here that is the followers personality traits and emotional intelligence that also contribute that is the how it will be an effective leadership or not. So, leadership behavior has to be managed with the personality traits of the followers and whenever there are these personality traits are matched by the leader with the followers right as we have talked in the contingency theory and situational theory and then you will find that that particular effect is there. So, effective leaders are the strong people skills, HR skills are very strong, they are visionary, they know what to do, they are uh, they are creating the goal, they are the team builder, they are personal uh, personable and approachable, uh, they then lead by example, 
passion and drive is there for that particular job and task, good listener and develops the people, uh, empower people and positive attitude is there dear friends. And in effectual leaders, interactional style is not that much uh, uh, more effective, they are not a team member, they are not fully developed, over demanding, micromanages, team not held accountable, uh, inattentive or poor listener too self-centric, lacks emotional control and the impatient are there. So, here I would like to mention about that is the that is a team not held accountable. So, ineffective leaders uh, whenever they are they are leading a team no right. So, they are not a team player. If they are the team player then they, they will uh, held the team accountable and uh, as soon as you say a word that is they held the team accountable. So, then the credit will also go to the team. So, if you are going for this uh, uh, effective team leadership, uh, then in that case uh, it is leader is required to make the, the team members the accountable and then you see the results and you, you will get the fantastic results. The behavior versus skills, leadership behaviors differ somewhat from leadership skills. A leadership behavior concerns a specific action such as setting specific performance goals for the team members is there. Now, as I was mentioning that is the goal, goal creation, goal creation is becoming very, very important and that is the these are setting specific uh, performance goals and uh, they, they, they are they are making uh, the these uh, important aspect uh, to lead the team because you are making the specific goal to achieve direction is there to your team members to achieve is there. So, a well defined body of knowledge, related behavior and component performance is there. So, goal is very clear, and then the body of knowledge is there, BOK is there. So, naturally in that case this, this is the competent performance has to be there by the team members is there. Now, whenever we are talking about uh, the knowledge, then definitely it is about the assignment of that goal a particular task should be delegated to a particular person. Whenever you are delegating a particular task, then the achievement will be, will be the responsibility of that particular team member and that is about the behavior will be there. And this behavior has to be measured in terms of criteria. Whenever you are measuring your term in the terms of the criteria, your behavior, so task is there, performance is there and criteria is there. So, naturally in that case the leader can facilitate and support to the team member for the achievement of that particular goal or task. So, Kurt Levin has uh, talked about uh, the three dimensional theory and in which he talks first talks about the autocratic state. They take decisions on their own effective when there is no need for involvement of the people in decision making and their motivation would lower down if they are not involved right. And therefore, in that case for the making this effective leadership in the Kurt Levin that, that is the this step of this uh, autocratic style of the leaders that will be becoming the more effective. In the case of the democratic style, uh, because autocratic style is effective, where is autocratic style when there is no need of involvement of others. So, take your own decision, democratic is there where the involvement of people is required. So, if the involvement of people is required, you involve the people then democratic style will be there and less is fair will be the minimum level of involvement of the people in decision making and it uh, at times it may create the cause because this Levin's model is basically about the change management. Hmm? organization development. So, therefore, when we talk about the change management and organization development, then this less is fair style will not work. The other you have to be autocratic or the democratic, autocratic is required as per the situation, democratic is required as per the opposite situation. So, early leadership studies uh, uh, which the Likert behavior on a continuum for most, most style of leaderships are the there is the exploitative authoritative. Exploitative authoritative means responsibility lies in the hands of the people at the upper echelons of the hierarchy. The superior has no trust and confidence in the subordinates and therefore, in that case those authorities are at the top. Benevolent authoritative or in a benevolent authoritative system responsibility also lies at the upper echelons of the organization right and therefore, in that case it, it is very, very important that is what level of these upper level you are having uh, and uh, through the threat of punishment and fear employees are instead motivated through a reward system is there. So, superiors have more trust in their employees than do managers in an exploitative authoritative system is there. 
So, it is becoming very very important that is whenever we are having this uh, 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 that uh, particular threat of punishment or uh, there, there is uh, uh, fear is there right. So, therefore, in that case uh, 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 the leader is not going for this he is not using this threat of uh, uh, the punishment is there right R rather than he is a benevolent benevolent authoritative is there. So, superiors have more trust in their subordinates and therefore, in that case it is a kind kind style of the leadership is there. In the early leadership studies the consult, um, consultative is concerned is spread widely through the organizational hierarchy and the superior has substantial but not complete confidence in the subordinates. So, some amount of discussion about job related things uh, uh, takes place between the superior and subordinates is there and there is a fair amount of teamwork. So, consultative is there. So, uh, of course, we have talked about the authoritative also important uh, when no involvement is required, but when there is a task, when the responsibility is spread widely through, uh, through the organizational hierarchy, the superior is supposed to have the uh, complete confidence in subordinates and consult them. In case of the participative is, is there then the responsibility for achieving the organizational goals is widespread throughout the organizational hierarchy. Hmm? So, here there is a high level of confidence, uh, confidence that the superior lies in the subordinates and because he is having that confidence and trust in the, the subordinates. So, there will be high level of teamwork communication and participation is there. So, here in the case of the consultative actually what he is doing he is taking the opinion. And when he is taking the opinion, there is a fair amount of teamwork is there. But when he is talking about the participative, so that decision itself, no, that decision will be taken by the all the members, and therefore, in that case, that communication uh, there, there will be the of the high amount will be there as compared to the consultative is there, where the communication is at the lower amount. So, leadership continuum uh, that is a uh, Tenebaum and Smith 1969 indicated that leadership behavior could exist uh, on a continuum reflecting different degrees of employee participation. So, one leader might be autocratic boss centered, another is the democratic or the subordinate centered and a third a combination of the two styles is there. Right. So, therefore, in that case uh, it is not necessary that either you will be having the autocratic or you will be having the democratic right either you will be having the uh, 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 participative or you will be having the no participative rather than it is be, it will be that is it will be having the combination of the two style is there that is the autocratic and the democratic both is there. So, use of authority by the manager an area of freedom for the subordinates is there and this is a subordinate center and this is becoming the boss center leadership is there. So, ultimately manager permits the subordinates to function within the limits defined by the superior is there. Hmm? So, he has been asked to do right, but with the permission of the manager is there. Manager make decisions and the announces it and in other case extreme case you will find it is not that is the that he will be allowed to do it is the manager will take the decisions only. So, right from the use of authority when we go for the use of the consultative is there you will find that is an equilibrium or the this uh, um, uh, joint combination of both is authoritative and the continuum that both will be uh, relying on that particular particular uh, uh, style of the leadership is concerned. Now, a very very interesting uh, style of leadership which we will talk about the boss center leadership style is there. So, which the leader takes charge to get the work done and the leader directs subordinates by communicating clear roles and goals while the manager tells them what to do and how to do as they work towards the goal achievement is there. And therefore, in that case it is totally become the boss center leadership style is there. He just gives the instructions it is what is to be done and he talks about that how it is to be done. Uh, uh, in the other uh, uh, style is that is the employee central leadership style is there and to the extent to which the leader focuses on meeting the human needs of employees while is the building relationship right and therefore, in that case it is becoming more and more the subordinate concern or the employee centered is there. Leader is sensitive to the subordinates and communications to develop trust, support and respect while looking out for their welfare is there. Right. So, dear friend which is right which is wrong 
neither the uh, boss central leadership uh, style is right and wrong neither nor the employee central leadership style is the right and wrong what is required is that as per the situation either it has to be boss centered or it has to be the employee centered leadership style Ohio State University has developed the leader behavior description questionnaire LBDQ and they identified two independent dimensions of behavior one is the consideration consideration is how friendly and supportive a leader is towards the subordinates and leaders high in consideration how concerned for the speaking up for the subordinates interest and expressing appreciation for work and therefore the consideration is towards the more towards the human centered uh, uh, leadership style is there uh, and employee employees centered leadership style is there and therefore in that case he will be more uh, highly concerned uh, with the speaking up for the subordinates so that is that is the uh, that, that is the personal touch uh, will be there trust will be there support will be there and uh, in mind the uh, the subordinates will be uh, uh, the personality of subordinate will be into consideration the leadership style is people oriented some of the statements uh, used to measure this factor are friendliness right mutual trust respect supportiveness openness concern for the welfare of employees and therefore in that case uh, this consideration will be there uh, whenever we are talking about these, these uh, leadership uh, studies are there and uh, these uh, hr oriented you know, people oriented are the subordinate oriented this type of the leadership uh, which they have observed with the help of the leader behavior questionnaire then the, uh, uh, they have uh, 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 come out with the uh, there are two styles one was the consideration another one is the initiating structure so how much leader emphasizes meeting work goals and accomplishing the task leaders high in initiating structure engage in task related behaviors like assigning deadlines and monitoring performance levels are there and therefore in that case uh, some of the statements uh, to use to these measures are uh, because the, here the leadership is a task oriented letting group members know what is expected of them that is the, it, it is a clear cut it is a clear cut uh, that is the boss centered oriented is there and therefore because yeah, uh, actually boss means what that is a task because the statement which we see that maintaining the definite standard of performance uh, scheduling the work to be done uh, asking that group members must follow the standard rules and regulations so everything is from top to bottom it is instructed it is directed it is guided and these dimensions are independent continuums are there so therefore in that case uh, you are not clubbing uh, that, is, uh, that is your consideration with the initiating structures to consideration with the initiating structures uh, the, the combinations uh, whether it will work or not that we will see in the further uh, contents but here important is this that is the uh, either there will be leaders for the consideration either there will be the leaders for the initiating structure is there but as we have seen that is uh, in the case of the boss centered and the in case of this uh, the employee centered is there that the continuum is very very important. So, in here the consideration is high consideration is low on the y axis on the x axis uh, it, it, it is low consideration and structure. So, therefore, in that case uh, it will be the low consideration and low structure high structure and the low consideration and uh, here um, in fact uh, we will uh, talk about the structure. So, uh, this will be the structure. Uh, so, therefore, start. So, therefore, in that case uh, it is the consideration is this side and the structure is this side right. So, structure is low and high. So, whenever low, low consideration right and the uh, low structure is here right and whenever high structure and the high and the low consideration is there. So, therefore, it, it will be the high structure and this will be the low consideration. So, these in this four quantum we will find that is the high consideration and low structure and a high consideration in the high structure is there. So, uh, whenever we are talking about these four situations now the question arises that is the what sort of the leadership that will be uh, to be adopted by these uh, uh, the leader. So, uh, as we have discussed uh, in the previous slides therefore, it, it is required that is it has to be high consideration and the uh, uh, high structure.
right. So, uh, but uh, mm, I, I would also like to mention as we have seen in the previous slide that is the low concentration and low structure that is a laissez sphere is there, right. And uh, then in that case uh, it is also possible that is in the given, given situation you are having the low concentration and low structure is there. But uh, uh, the in general whenever we are talking about uh, the relationship between this consideration and the structure is concerned then definitely uh, you are required to go for the, the combination as per the situation is there. Because the consideration means what? Consideration means people oriented and when we are talking about this structure then we are talking about this uh, task oriented is there. So, whether it, it has to be the task oriented or it has to be the people oriented. Now, uh, the, the leader will be effectively working on, on the basis of that is a what type of the combination he is going to consider. So, that was the about the Ohio studies. The Michigan study was also working on this and the University of Michigan identified four categories of leadership behaviors and data related to the effective group performance. And uh, these four categories of leadership behavior were group emphasis and work facilitation or job center dimensions similar to the uh, that leader base uh, questions initiating structure behavior by the Ohio that LBDQ we have, we have discussed. So, therefore, in that case uh, it, it, it is the goal goal it is the emphasis on the goal and the work facilitation. So, naturally the dimension will be job center dimension is there. Whenever we are talking about the leader support and interaction facilitation, so definitely that is the um, or, uh, or the employee center dimensions are there right uh, like uh, we, as in the case of the LVDQ consideration dimensions which we have discussed just, uh, just before. These job centered and employee centered behaviors are at opposite ends of the single continuum is there right. So, either uh, I, this will be the high job centered or it will be the high uh, the uh, employee centered will be there. Findings of both university studies suggest that no universal set of leader behavior is always associated with the leadership success. So, when we are talking about the job centered and employee centered please do not learn like this that is the job centered will be the more successful, the employee centered will be the more successful it is not like this right. So, the it, 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 it will be depend on the task and situation and accordingly you have to adopt task uh, whether the job uh, consideration oriented or, or the job oriented as, as or the employee oriented is required. Robert Black and Jane Mouton developed a two dimensional leadership theory and uh, called the leadership grid that builds on the work of the Ohio state and the Michigan studies. When I was in Shiram group uh, then one week training program I have attended uh, on this uh, leadership grid at Pune in 1992. So, uh, there um, uh, it, it, is, it is the, the grid profile uh, that is leader behavior on the two dimensions uh, uh, that is the concern for people and concern for production. And the word concern reflects how a leader is underlying assumptions about the people at work and the importance of the bottom line of the leadership style. So, therefore, in that case whenever he is having uh, the concern for the people, so therefore, he will adopt the ac accordingly the leadership style. In that sense then the leadership grid deals with the more than just behavior right. So, therefore, in that case it, it is not just be because of the behavior is concerned rather than it is also, also making the assumptions about the importance of the work which uh, uh, has been uh, uh, talked uh, from whenever we are talking about the task oriented leadership in the case of the Fiddler's model also that we have talked about. So, here the managerial grid also it talks about that is it is not only their leadership style, but it, it is a question of the uh, whatever the situation is there. Researchers rated leaders on a scale of 1 to 9 according to the following two criteria concern for people and concern for production. Concern for people the degrees considers the need of the team members. Huh? So, they were the items which were the uh, uh, identified they were the team members their interest and areas of personal development and when deciding how best to accomplish a particular task is there. Concern for production was about the efficiency and uh, uh, the high productivity uh, when deciding uh, how best to accomplish a task. The score for this criteria were plotted on a grid with an axis for the each criteria. The most effective leaders are said to have high concern for both people and for production that is in general dear friends. 
like when we will see the grid here then I will also like to mention about that is the each cell of the grid that is the each cell of the grid will require a typical style of the leadership is there and therefore in that case whenever we are talking about uh, this managerial grid for the people and the production is concerned that what is the at, at what stage that is your concern is there if your concern is low moderate or high. Similarly, for production, what is your target achievement? Now, for production, definitely it will be always, uh, uh, it is not concerned with the uh, quality, quality will be always high. So, here as I was talking about, like 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 9, 1, 9, 9 and 1, 9 is there. So, whenever 1, 1 we are talking about, which is called the impoverishment management. And uh, that, is, that uh, if you remember, uh, uh, before few slides, I have talked about the laissez fair style of leadership. So, that laissez fair style of uh, leadership that is about the low concern uh, for these uh, 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 people production and low concern for the people is there. So, therefore, in that case, laissez fair 1, 1. Right. Please do not discard any leadership styles. However, always what is required? Uh, in general statement, again in general statement, it is 99. High concern for people, high concern for production. When I say in general means that is the if somebody asks what should be the leadership style. So, it will be told high concern for people and high concern for production. But uh, when you are into the crisis management and when you want the productivity, then you cannot be have the concern for the people that uh, high right and i will like give i will like to give one example so uh, when you have to give the production tomorrow export order is there and the booking is done and otherwise it will be uh, uh, huge loss so then in that case what is required the production has to be ready by tomorrow and suppose the some uh, employees say that is they want to go on leave so therefore what you will do you will not that is the you will concern only by these uh, uh, the um, uh, people high concern for people and high concern for production what what will be there you will you will go for 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 the task oriented now and this is more uh, described here the manager shows the less concern for both production and people, it implies the manager's less interest in the position. In this situation, minimum effort is needed for getting the work done and sustaining organizational membership. The leader acts as an observer. Now, now you see this is a positive point about this uh, particular situation, in a situation where you are the observer only. So, you do not put your nose into that particular task, just have uh, the observation and avoiding controversy and confrontation. Right? Uh, otherwise, what happens? You are going as an observer, and then you are uh, you are uh, obstructing in the operations. Uh, country club one nine management style is there. The leader is highly concerned with the people. He tries to establish close personal relationship. Adequate attention to the needs of people leads to a comfortable organizational environment and the work culture. The leader has maximum concern for people and minimum concern for production is there. So, this is, al this is also a situation and therefore, in that case what leader has to do that he has to get the maximum concern for people uh, and therefore, in that case he will have the minimum concern for the production is there. If it is required, suppose there is a crisis situation. Now, when we are talking about uh, uh, this COVID-19. So, in that case definitely high concern for people and the uh, least concern for the production will be there. So, that will be the 9 1 will be there. Now, the 5 5 management grid, the leader gives emphasis on both production and relationship with the people. Uh, the proper organization performance is possible through balancing the necessity of getting work done uh, through maintaining the moral of the people uh, at a satisfactory level. And the leader balances task with uh, concern for the people through the compromises there and therefore, it is, it is, is becoming the moderate way. Moderate way is there balancing the necessity of getting work done through maintaining the moral of the people. The fourth one is authority compliance that is the nine one is there that is the management style is there. The leader is mainly concerned with the production and has little concern for people. He gives emphasis on getting the task due to the increased production. The task is well planned and the authority is well defined. This is a task oriented or the autocratic style of leadership. The leader leads the people with instructions and discipline is there. And dear friends, do not take it as a negative, right. When it will be negative? When the situation is of 3 or 2 or 1, that is the 5 1, 5 5, a 1 9, a 9 1. Uh, uh, and then nine. Then you are going for for the uh, uh, the mismatch of the leadership style. 
then definitely in spite of the 4 you are using 3, in spite of the 3 you are using 1, 2, 4, in spite of the 2 uh, leadership grids are there. So, then that is about the 1, 1, 1, 9, 9, 1 and, nine, uh, and uh, uh, 5, 5, but as I mentioned that is the best style is the 9, 9 is there in a in general given situation. The leader has maximum concern for both production and people. This is a team leadership style in which the leader consult with his team and the harmonious organizational goals are there. Work performed by the committed people and the interdependence of the common organizational goal leads to the relationship of the trust and respect and this style is considered to be the best leadership style is there right in the general situation. Uh, why I am uh, repeating this because if you uh, if it is a task uh, uh, master is required that is a uh, high production is required quality is required then please go for 9 1 do not uh, uh, go for 9 9 uh, what what is wrong in 9 9 then the wrong is this that you are having the when concern for people also uh, when the task is required uh, and then in that case in long run organization will not be survive. You have to close the organization because the organization will be having the problem in this, but whenever we are talking about uh, uh, this particular style uh, in general that is that that will work and therefore, in that case this will be the best leadership style is there. Right. So, uh, uh, if you are into the service industry or into the um, uh, manufacturing industry in any nature of industry, please follow the appropriate leadership style, understand the uh, situation and then adopt 1119919955 is there. Uh, as usual, uh, this is about the research papers, uh, uh, it depends on followers uh, as I was mentioning uh, the relationship between the Ohio state leader behaviors, employee self regulatory focus and the task performance is there. So, this research paper you can refer and you can find out what the designer methodology has been used by the, uh, here by this in the particular author and the result showed that leader consideration exerts significant effects on the employee task performance. Also the authors found the Moderating role of the employee regulatory promotion focus on the relationship between the leader consideration and initiating structure and employee task performance which were mediated by the creative behavior and the citizenship behavior is there and what is the citizenship behavior belongingness to the organization and uh, practical implication is there should pay attention to followers in terms of what they really want and what kinds of behavior can be beneficial for them. Both leaders and followers may be prone to the wasteful uh, uh, expenditure of time and resources. Given that regulatory focus has a dispositional nature to a large extent, it is more reasonable to uh, expect leaders to change their behavior than to the expect followers to change their regulatory focus. Beautiful uh, 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 these advice and um, beautiful concept that is the it is more reasonable to expect leaders to change their behavior than to expect followers to change their regulatory focus is there. This is the uh, contributes advancement of the Ohio state leadership approach the self expansion theory regulatory fit theory to investigate the distinct mechanisms and boundary conditions for its leadership process is there. Uh, and this is the beautiful case study of the uh, Ratan Tata right and therefore, uh, uh, here you will find that is the how uh, this uh, uh, the leadership style uh, because always uh, whenever we talk about the successful leaders in India and we take uh, uh, Mr. Ratan Tata's name with very pride which is not only the ethical and the value based organization, but it is organization which works for the nation uh, 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 with the mechanism uh, with the taking people together and, and the task together right. So, uh, then uh, there are uh, ne uh, the, this list uh, is there including Jaguar, Land Rover and the all right, but uh, the, this list is uh, non ending list uh, because when we will ta start talking about the Tata group uh, uh, the all 30 of us will be on, on, only up about the Tata group only and therefore, in that case uh, always uh, uh, please understand that is the uh, have to be the very very uh, uh, society concern organization. Mm. And the naturally uh, in this context of topic the people oriented also and production oriented also. Uh, 
what behaviors did the Rajan Tata exhibit that made him an effectual and effectual leader? What emerging entrepreneurial leaders can learn from the behavior of Rajan Tata is there. So, this case study uh, which uh, is the very popular case study and about the definitely very popular Ratan Tata ji. And these are the book uh, recommendations, uh, leadership behavior, uh, discoveries in natural talents and the messaging the differences are there. And then this is uh, about uh, uh, the uh, 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 in this book uh, that is the uh, how these strengths and managing these struggles is there which uh, you can refer for the further uh, um, studies. These are the references from these notes have been taken and you can also go in detail with the help of these uh, references. It is all about uh, that is the how the people and the task oriented leadership are the consideration right and initiating structure is there. Thank you.